This part will be about a dog breed, the Tibetan Mastiff, which is perhaps one of the greatest dog breeds of the past, and is considered by many to be the common ancestor of all the large shepherd dog breeds that exist today. Tibetan Mastiffs are treated with respect by almost everyone, but few really know the qualities and character of this special breed. So let's take a look at the seven points that a future Tibetan Mastiff buyer should think through carefully before deciding on this breed. As always, the last point will now reveal whether the Tibetan Mastiff is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner. In order not to accidentally miss the next parts of the series, and to receive instant notifications about new parts, subscribe to our channel and press the bell button as well. 1. A Brief History of the Tibetan Mastiff Researchers of the breed indicate Tibet, China, India and Nepal as the place of origin of the Tibetan Mastiffs, in addition to which we must definitely mention Mongolia. To the best of our knowledge, they may have appeared in these regions about 4,000 years ago, but have been used primarily around the Himalayan mountains and for millennia primarily to guard flocks and territories under extremely harsh conditions. They have already been mentioned in several ancient and then medieval sources, like Marco Polo who mentioned them several times. Basically, two types are known, the larger Sankai, which is more characteristic of the southern parts of the region, and the Drokai, which is more common in the higher areas. In addition, a smaller version is existing in Mongolia, who are called Bankars. 2. The Personality of the Tibetan Mastiff the Tibetan Mastiff is a dog breed of extraordinary strength and very strong will, characterized by a very high degree of autonomy. For thousands of years, they have been selected to solve their tasks on their own, in most cases without human help and in any situation they had to decide whether it could be dangerous to the owner, to the owner's family and the goods entrusted to their care, such as livestock animals. Think it over, if a Tibetan Mastiff didn't do his job well and an attacking beast slaughtered the livestock, well, that family later starved to death. To this day, their personality is characterized by this trinity, above the average independence, very strong guard and protective instincts, and unconditional respect for the family. 3. Size and Coat of the Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is a huge dog, typically, with an average weight of 40 to 70 kilograms and a height at the withers of 61 to 76 centimeters. The fur of the Tibetan Mastiff is extremely dense and rich, its undercoat is well-developed and resistant to almost any cold temperatures. Its coat is self-cleaning and there are many color variations. The most common is black and tan, but there are also different shades of black and red. In case of the black and tan versions, there are two dots above their eyes and a smaller white spot may appear on the chest. 4. Trainability of the Tibetan Mastiff as mentioned earlier, the Tibetan Mastiff is a remarkably independent breed, which is sometimes called stubbornness in today's modern dog world. Although the owner and his family is accepted, it is undoubtedly true that Tibetan Mastiffs tend to override a single order and replace it with an independent decision, especially if they perceive a situation to be more dangerous than their owner. In this sense, from today's point of view, they are dogs that are difficult to train and western type of obedience and drill training are not at all effective in connection with them, in their long history this has never been the expected from them. In today's sense, dog sports are absolutely not suitable for them as their character is so different and unique. 5. The Activity of the Tibetan Mastiff This breed does not require too much activities, similarly to other big-sized shepherd dog breeds, usually they track events from the highest point in their area. However, in the event of an emergency, their reactions are surprisingly quick, their attack is overwhelming and irresistible. There is no need for regular, long runs or hours of walks in their case, this is not required by them. However, their enormous stature should not deceive anyone, Tibetan Mastiffs are sometimes capable of acrobatic stunts, and there are several descriptions about them that they even jump through a lower fence without any difficulty if they deem the situation necessary. Six. The health and lifespan of the Tibetan Mastiff. Their average lifespan is 10 to 12 years and, fortunately, due to their past, they are still a mostly healthy breed to this day. In recent decades, unfortunately, in some respects, they have also become fashion dogs and oversized giant dogs have come to the fore, developed mainly by Chinese breeders. Unfortunately, various forms of dysplasia and other diseases associated with large-bodied breeds also appeared among these specimens. 
7. And finally the last question, is the Tibetan Mastiff a good choice for a novice dog owner? Although some Tibetan Mastiff breeders also recommend this breed to first-time dog hours, we only partially agree with this view. The previously mentioned independence of this fantastic breed and its extremely powerful guard and protective instincts can certainly give up the lesson for a beginner who have no earlier experiences with strong-willed and large-bodied breeds. In addition, the Tibetan Mastiff is also not recommended for those who live an active social life, with a frequent and large number of arriving guests, as this breed of dog do not tolerate strangers in its territory. The ideal owner of the Tibetan Mastiff has a large area and is a persistent and patient person. He is persistent to learn how to handle this dog of special character properly and is patient, as the full maturation process of Tibetan Mastiffs really ends at the age of 3 to 4 years. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button to get notifications of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.